Good morning, everybody. <clears throat> Happy Thursday. We're almost to the end of the week. And today I want to talk to you guys about thinking critically. I am a critical thinker, which means that I take apart in my head what I see in front of me. And the reason why I do that is because you can't just buy into everything that comes your way. You really just can't. Now, there's a lot of things that I agree with. There's a lot of things that I disagree with. But you know what? <clears throat> There's a lot of information out there that is a lot of changes that are happening out in the world right now. And you have to think critically because if you don't, you're going to negatively impact what happens in your business. If you don't look ahead and if you don't think ahead on some of these challenges and changes that are coming at us, you are not going to be able to prepare your business for this. You're not going to be able as an HR leader, as an HR professional, as an HR rising champion, you're not going to be able to help usher and support and shepherd your leadership team through these changes. And you know what? It may very well negatively impact your business. And it doesn't matter what you think the change is good or not. The change is happening. It's happening regardless of whether we approve of it, what we think of it, and whatever affiliation is around it. That's a fact. There's nothing that we can do about change except roll with the punches and figure out how you as an, as an individual, as a professional can work to shore up your business. So that way you can keep the doors open to ensure payroll is met. You have a contribution to your business and 49% of the businesses in this country are small, which means that mass changes that happen, regardless of whether it's one party or the next, and it doesn't matter because they all make changes that those things impact your business. They impact your ability to, to have a strong cash flow because cash is king. I don't care if you're from one side or the other, or if you follow the opinions of the king of the purple people eater, I really don't care. I really don't. But what I do care about is making sure that small businesses are able to stay open. What I do care about is helping you guys figure out how do you make how do you make change and deal with change without the least amount of impact to your cash flow. <clears throat> with this new law and the new stimulus package out there, which I don't have any issue stimulating the economy. I think that's brilliant. And that comes with its own set of challenges that we're not even going to go ahead and get into. But look at the COBRA subsidy, for instance. That's going to be a challenge. And here's the reason why it's going to be a challenge for small business. Larger corporations have more funding options than small business do. They just do. They just have more opportunity to fund differently. They can sell stock. <clears throat> they can take out different kinds of loans. There's different tax advantages that are there as well. But the most important thing is that they can control their cash flow in a much different way than a small business can. Small businesses only have a limited amount of resources. Small businesses don't have the ability to sell stock for the most part, especially if you're looking at just a standard LLC or a sole proprietor or a partnership, I don't have the ability to sell stock to actually, to actually earn more cash to operate with. They have different struggles with their accounts receivables because people don't always pay on time. That impacts cash flow. Now, when you've got a subsidy in place, which I think is awesome, but the challenge is, is that now these employers who've only had since March 11th to figure out how are they going to come up with money to front for the next three to four months, the high cost of 100% of an employee who's taking continuous coverage, that employee's 100% and then multiplying at times the other individuals to front that cash until they can actually get their hands on a tax credit at the end of the quarter. That is a true business challenge. And that is what I'm trying to help people understand to get in front of. How do you figure these things out? Not easy, is it? Think about that for a second. <clears throat> it's not easy. So compliance, leadership, growth, folks, stay true. We'll talk to you later.